Hi everyone, my name is Akorede Adenike. You are highly welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you coming to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload a new video. If you are my own subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much. Tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful box pleated dress with yoke for you guys. The fabric I'm using for the tutorial today, I have four yards of Ankara fabric here. It's one of the African prints. And I'm going to use my basic bodice pattern and basic sleeve pattern to explain how I'm going to cut it for you guys before I cut it on the fabric. If you like, you can cut it directly if you know you are good at that. But it's always advisable to make your draft before cutting on the fabric to avoid any unnecessary mistake. You know, I said it has yoke. From my shoulder line here, the original shoulder line, I'm going to trace it out to my chest line. This is the back pattern and this is the front pattern. I have a video on how to draft it. I'm going to put the link in the box below. For the sleeve too, I'm going to measure out the length I need for my dress from the shoulder to where I want it to be. If you like, you can make it long sleeve. It depends on what you want and how you want it. So I have a video on how to draft this one too. I'm going to put the link in the box below for you guys. I'm done tracing all I needed from my pattern, I mean basic bodice pattern out. This is the front part. I've traced my from my shoulder, from my shoulder line to my chest line out. Here is it. So without adding any seam allowance to it. This is my back part. I've traced it out as I said. So I did not add any zipper allowance to it and any sewing allowance. So I'll just trace it out. I'll just place it on my fabric and cut it out. My basic sleeve too. I'm done tracing it out. The length I want, I've traced it out. So I'll go ahead now and cut all of them on the fabric and come and show you what I have. I'm done cutting all that I needed for my dress. This is my back part and this is my front part. I added half inch seam allowance here the show i mean the ham hole line i added half inch to it my shoulder i added half inch to it as well i do i did the same thing on the front part i added half inch here half inch here then half inch on my shoulder line so i want to make my neckline a little bit wider than before so my neck width i want it to be four inches which is going to be here four inches which is here is here now so i'll just rhyme it with this one because my neck depth is already four inches so all i need for my neckline is four four inches by four inches reshape it with my free hand if you know you are not good at your free hand you can make use of your curve ruler Let's cut it out now i'm done cutting it out i've reshaped my neckline for it to pass through my neck you know my dress is not going to have zipper so this is my this is my front part and this is my back part i'm going to place it very well on it before shaping out my neckline so i'm using pin to hold it to heat And I'm going to add half inch to my neckline here. I'll just add half inch round like this. You know, I've already added half inch on the shoulder and my arm hole and here too. I've already added half inch all through it. So I'm going to add my half inch here too before cutting it out. So I'll just cut it out now. This is my back part folded into two. And this is my front part as well folded into two.
mind you i double front and back because i want to use it to face each other here is it here is my front part i cut double of it as you can see i'll just stitch my neckline with half inch and here too with half inch so this is my back too i do i double it as well because i'm using it to face each other i'm using one as a facing to the second one as you can see my basic sleeve too i had it half inch all through here i had it 1.5 here and half inch at the bottom here yeah, too because i'm adding down parts to my sleeve now let's move on to the down part of my dress to get the amount of fabric cutting for the down part i'm going to deduct the upper part from the full length of my dress the full length of my dress is 44 inches if i deduct the upper part from there you know i measured my upper part to be nine inches from my shoulder to my chest line is nine inches so i'm going to deduct that nine inches from 44 inches the remaining inches will be 35 inches and i'm going to add two inches for seam allowance to it i'm using 1.5 to m the bottom of my dress and half inch to join it to the upper part which is the yoke part so all i have here now is that 35 inches plus 2 inches which i which i said is seam allowance so all together in length now is 37 inches now to know the exact weight you are cutting for your dress i'm making use i'll, I'll go back to my pattern paper and measure what i have on the chest line since i've already measured all i needed all the measurement i needed on my basic bodice pattern so what i have here now this is the front part and this is the back part since there is no zipper on the front part i mean on the back part so my chest line is the same thing so what i have here now is 10 inches and to know the amount of inches i'm adding to it to form my box pleated making use of seven inches for each box pleated and i have three box pleated on the front and on the back so if i multiply my seven inches by three it will give me 21 inches and since i cut this one on fold i'm going to divide that 21 into two so half of it is going to be 10 10.5 inches so i'm going to add that 10.5 inches to these 10 inches the total will give me 20 0.5 now 20.5 plus one inch which is going to be my side seam allowance that will give me 21.5 so 21.5 is what i have here now folded into two this is the front part folded into two and this is my back part folded into two as well so i'm going to notch the center of each just like this for me to know where the center is Let's move on to the sewing part this is my front part and this is my back part as you can see so i'm going to stitch my neckline with half inch both neckline with half inch let the right side of each face each other i'm done stitching my neckline both front and back i'm going to notch with quarter of an inch do not let the notching touch the sewing please to avoid silly mistakes so i'm going to turn it to the right side just like this to get my box splitted this is one of my down parts now what I'm going to do is to just open it to the right side. Let me zoom my camera for you to see what I'm about to do. This is the center of my down part, one of it. So what I'm doing now is to just measure to get my, you know, I, I said I have three pleated, um, box pleated on the front part and on the back part too, I have three box pleated so to get my box pleated easily now from this center now i'm going to measure i'm going to place 
3.5 for me to measure 3.5 on both sides to get my 7 inches for my center box pleated for the front or back that is how i'm going to do on the second part too so having done that this is my seven inches now hope you can see the markings so i'm going to measure the center of it too which is 3.5 and is here hope you can see the markings the three points now so for me to get the center box pleated i'm going to hold you know i'm making all the markings on the right side of it for me to get it easily so i'm folding on the first point here to meet the center one i'm going to pin it down i'm going to do the same thing on the second side of it i'm folding it on this third point here to meet the center like this for me to get my center box pleated i'm going to use pin to hold it as well get my side box pleated one of the side box pleated i'm going to divide what i have here on my chest line i'm going to divide it into two you know i have 10 inches here i later put it on fold on my fabric so 10 inches that is here now i'm going to divide it by two that will give me five inches so i'm going to measure that five inches from the center here now from where the notch is so from that five inches i will measure another seven inches i did and divide it by two so if i divide it by two it will be 3.5 inches which is here so i have three points here too as well so i'm going to fold on the first point here let it meet the middle one and use pin to hold it down i'm folding the third point too to meet the center one i'm using pin to hold it down as well so this is my second box pleated to create my third box pleated it's going to be on this side now so i'm measuring that five inches before measuring seven inches so from the center here i'm going to measure five inches from that five inches i'm measuring seven inches and later divide it into two which is here this is the middle of that seven inches so i have three points here now from the first one here i'm going to hold it like this fold it to meet the middle point i'm using pin to hold it so i'm going to fold this one too to meet the middle so i'm using pin to hold it as well so this is my third box pleated now so i'm doing the same thing on the second one of my down parts so here is it so what i will just do now is to go to my ironing table and give it a good press to form my box pleated very well hope you can see what i'm doing this is the center one i'll just go ahead to my ironing table and press it very well to form my box pleated before placing it on one of the upper parts this is the front part now i'll just place it on it let the center align on each other and make sure you let the right side face each other as well and stitch with half inch i'm going to do the same thing on the second one on the back part of my dress so when i finish with all that i'm going to move ahead to my sleeve here is my sleeve the two sleeves before removing my paper i'm going to notch where the front is for me not to make any silly mistake so i've notched the front part to know where my front is before removing my paper so here is my paper now so what i just do now is to just deduct 
this upper part from the full length of my dress you, i mean from the full length of my sleeve you know i said my sleeve is going to have down part which is going to be box splitted as well so if i deduct this length now the length i have here now is 11 inches so i'm going to deduct it from the full length of my sleeve the full length of my sleeve is 16 inches if i deduct 11 inches from it the remaining inches will be five inches so i'm having i'm measuring five inches for the length of my sleeve down part so i'll take this one put it aside now i said the length of my of the down part of my sleeve is going to be five inches so i'm adding two inches to it for seam allowance i'm using 1.5 to m the bottom of it and half inch to join it to the upper part so that will give me seven inches so i'm measuring seven inches out of this one i have here now since i'm having three box fitted on each of the sleeve and i'm using four inches for each of the box i'm going to i'm going to multiply that four inches into three so it will give me 12 inches to divide that 12 into two so it will give me six inches so i'm adding six inches to this circumference now you know i folded this into two so i'm going to fold this one into two as well and add extra six inches hope you understand what i'm doing so i'm done cutting the down part of my sleeve as you can see so hope you understand what i explained so this is the upper part now i'm going to notch it at the center and make sure i notch the center of my down part too for me to form my box pleated so i'm going to notch this one too now to get my box pleated you know i've notched the center of this so i'm going to measure you know i said like i said earlier on i said i'm going to use four inches for each of the box splitted so i'm measuring four inches out place two inches on my center for me to measure that four inches out and i'm going to dot out my center two as well the same process that i used for my dress for it so i'm going to hold it on the first point let it meet the middle point like this and i'm going to use pin to hold it down i'm doing the same thing on the second side hold it on the last point and place it on the middle i'm using pin to hold it down as well So from there now, I'm going to divide what I have here. You know, the 1.5 here is for seam allowance. So what I have here is 6 inches. So I'll just divide it into 2. I have 3 inches. Bring that 3 inches from my center here. From that point, I'm going to measure my 4 inches out for my second box pleated. And make sure I mark the center of it too. So I'm holding it here to meet the center point and i'm using pin to hold it so i'm doing the same thing on the second side of it hold the last point place it on the middle point so i'm going to use pin to hold it as well So I'm going to measure that 3 inches on this side too before measuring my 4 inches. So I'm going to find the middle of the 4 inches which is 2 inches. So I'm holding it here from the first point. Let, me, let it meet the middle point. Use pin to hold it down. If you follow this step, you find it very easy to form your box pleated so i'm going to hold the last point let it meet with the middle point here as you can see now all our box pleated is ready now
see how beautiful it is but note make sure you hem the bottom before ironing please make sure you hem the bottom before ironing to make your job very neat and beautiful do the same thing on this second one to hem the bottom then follow this same process for it to get your box pleated so i'll just go ahead now and place it on each other let the right side face each other and let the middle match each other the notching at the center let it align on each other if you are a beginner you can use pin to hold it down before stitching and make sure you give it a good press hem the bottom before giving it a good press and after that after all that place it on this one like this and stitch with half inch i'm done stitching and ironing as i said as you can see both front and back this is the first box pleated the second one which is the center one and the third one which is for the second side so now this is my sleeve my two sleeves i'm done stitching it too and, and i'm ironing it out Here is it the first box pleated the center one and the third one and see this is the right side of both front and back i'm going to place it on each other like this let the right side face each other i'm going to stitch my shoulder both shoulder with half inch and both side with one inch my both sleeves i'm going to take one out of it and this is the right side of it i'm going to fold it like this and stitch my side seam so i'm doing the same thing on the second sleeve i'm not stitching my shoulder and my side seam these are my two sleeves and since I have more than enough side seam here, I'm going to trim out about half inch from both side seam of the sleeves. So there is no stiffer at the back of this dress. To differentiate front from the back, you can easily know through the shoulder and the armpit here. So, so this is the front part now. I'll place my sleeve like this. You know, I've notched where my front is on the sleeves, on the two sleeves. I will easily place it like this, let the armpit align on each other and stitch it, fix it to the armhole. I'm doing the same thing on the second side of it. When I finish doing that, I'll come and show you the finishing look of it. Here's the finishing look of it, guys. As you can see, this is the back look of it. See how neat and beautiful it is. If my tutorial has been helpful to you guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to support my channel. If you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing, you can join me on my Facebook group, Details to Sewing, created by Akurede Adenike. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Akurede Adenike. Please show some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akurede Adenike Sewing Tutorial. Till I see you in my next video, guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye-bye.